up head. Careful! I am a cultural obsession coming home to roost! I am undead! I make no sense! Hey, what's up, home? Ah, uh, you know, just, uh, hunting for brains. Grr. Any luck? No, not really. This is Vinewood. The only place they made the lobotomy mandatory. Well, I would say I know a lot of people that were killed for this job, but I'm gonna be straight up with you, dawg. It ain't true. Good luck. Thank you. I am the undead! Well, that was no fast food, so it's pretty damn emotional. I told this ancient dude in the hills, I said, I recycle! That you are the best you in the whole galaxy of potential yous that are there. Life's a competition. It's a competition with yourself. Don't do this well, to me! That's a competition. That asshole just robbed me! Save my ass. My good deed for the day. Wow, insane! I'd say you earned yourself a reward, bro. for permission to use the house? You always was a little peeper. You ain't gonna see this woman with her barbell in. clean your raggedy bitch ass up. Fuck you, Lamar. I mean, Franklin or whatever. Everybody on the block knows you gone on vine wood and shit. Well, shit, if going vine wood means I ain't hitting the pipe like 1992, then shit, I'm guilty as charged. Punk ass. What? Bitch ass. Excuse me? <laughs> Look, I'm sorry, but where's your love for the hood? JB ain't doing good. He needs help. We need your help, nigga. We gonna lose everything. All right. Shit. What do I gotta do? Same as before, boo. A little help with the tow truck. Nothing for a real man like you. All right. You just get yourself together. Your ass done went crazy. So where you park? Hey, what's hey boo! Love listening to the news when I'm driving. You never could say no to me, Franklin Clinton. I ain't so cracked out I don't remember that night behind the burger shop. Not this again. What, we was like 13? But you was a man after that night. 
Damn, every time with this shit. And nothing even happened. It's all good, baby. I know that wound ain't healed. Coming through. Um, I have some spiritual-ass jumper cables, and you are about to get some mind-boggling experience through your body. Man, I just love that metaphor. We are here to deal with your Los Santos County Integrated Health Needs, and I'm your host, Dr. Ray the end. That's our truck. You know the drill. Thing. I just feel my... Be clear, Sean. Dispatch, what you got? 10-4. We got an SUV and a handicapped spot without a sticker. It's a lucky plucker and little soul. Do you copy? You know I don't copy. I'm an original. <laughs> yeah, we got you. JB still sick. You sure you need me? Because you look like you know what you're doing. One, I can't drive. And two... This ain't no work for a lady. Oh, you really fighting the feminist cause there, ain't you, Tiny? Like your aunt, you mean? I saw her fake jogging the other day, chanting some whacked out nonsense. That bitch is crazy. Yeah, that we can't agree on. And I got qualifications, honey. Like hell you do. I got a certificate in cosmology. You never see my nails. <laughs> what, you going into space now? You always you were so clever. Remember Davis High? You didn't learn shit at that school. <laughs> and you got your math on the corner in Davis. Someplace else, your mind is in the gutter. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to offend your duality, Dr. Ray. Blind five. No, 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 no. Go you slow up now. Slow up a second, right? What'd you say to me? What'd you say to me? I said line five. Would you disrespect my duality? Would you? Because, listen, I'm a spiritual being. If you want to push me, if anybody wants to push me, you'll find out there's a whole lot more to Dr. Ray D. Angelo Harris than a document from a respected university and a string of successful books in a top-rated health show. If you want to go there, woman, if you want a piece of me, if you want to party, huh? Because I know things. I know them. Dumb things. I know dumb things, and dumb things know me, and therefore dumb things don't know that I know those things. So I know dumb things because dumb things is right in front of my face. I'll tell the audience. Calm down, Ray. You're getting all angry again. I wasn't disrespecting your duality. This We're is... on, boo. Let's move it out. Because it's Dr. Ray D'Angelo Harris bug out smoothie with spirulina, which is nature's PCP. I'm sorry, Cheryl. You know I love you, but sometimes you need to be yelled at. Hey, boo. Cheryl, right now! Right now! <laughs> right now! Get that dick out! Damn! They got messed up! This ain't a job for making new friends, is it? I thought you been into some repo work. Yeah, that's true. Same shit, but nicer cars. It's an honest dollar, and there ain't many of those around. An honest dollar that I ain't seen yet? Man, JB need to get his head straight. JB's going through a hard time. A hard time sitting on his ass smoking crack? I gotta keep his hours up. Word is they gonna sell the business. A new owner ain't good news for the drivers with no papers. JB sold his social for a piece two... <laughs> JB sold his social for a piece two years back. I see the problem, but I just don't see that as much. You too good to cover a brother now? I'm here, ain't I? I've been covering that brother for 20 years. She's really opened up. That's what happened. Sometimes somebody gotta own and catch it and throw it in somebody's elf's mouth so they can home. Sometimes I cry on weekend. I love it. Oh, I so hell. There, there, Cheryl. Be strong, girl. See, I need your strength right now. I don't need you on the air. Drop it in the marked area. Same as before, honey. It's contagious. It's a virus. And everybody stop boo hoo and boo hoo and boo hoo Right? We are useless. Who we need? Who we need the listeners? No, the public! The damn public. You sure you ain't been smoking? If I set you up, you, got, you gotta hit the ball. If I underhand it to you, you gotta hit the ball, Cheryl. You didn't I'll make it up to you, Franklin. You know I will. See you round.
on public radio every day, cleansing people, cleansing their soul, taking them on journeys. And I'm not gonna let you tell me this flight is full. I'm not gonna do it, Cheryl. I'm not gonna let you all. drug habit that would put your problem celebrities in the ground. Into their brain, yes. down their down their system, the nervous system, into their chest, their, down their heartbeat, down to their bowels, right? To stir things up in the bowels. You understand? That's a cleansing. That's a damn cleansing. They sit on that toilet bowl, side saddle, and put one elbow on that flusher. You understand? Because everything's coming out. You know what? I'm getting Lionel back. Lionel was a damn good producer. Who's on the line? Please tell me it's Lionel. Lionel, you calling for your job back? Lionel! Ray, I love the vibe, but it's mostly bullshit. What the hell? We are raising awareness around here. Awareness, you dumbass fool. That's all it takes, and pretty soon, shit has changed. Because people over realize they're being aware because you're getting awareness, and you don't know you got awareness until you get the damn awareness. Don't you tell me what I'm doing here? And we have done it all by holding a protest sign and wearing tie-dyes and smoking cheap. That's not actually doing anything, is it? What are you talking about? The first three letters in raising awareness are R-A-Y. Raising awareness. Bumper stickers create change. People see that shit and think while they're driving. The text on that bumper sticker is speaking to me right now. At a red light, driving 55 down to 35, Right? I'm going to visualize world peace. I'm going to go home and I don't care if my woman leaves me. I don't give a damn right now. So what? I'm wearing global warming and pollution, but I don't give a crap. The news has made me an uncaring moron. I'll tell you what I'm talking about. Wonderful. Of. A veritable right treasure trove. That's a perfectly good sock. Just ignore us. Yes, don't mind us. Pretend we're not here. Okay. You're not. Jock Cranley, are you? Actor and artist? I love your work! Oh, stunt double? Oh, our favorite show. Mrs. Thornhill, snap! Watch the birdie! Oh, we pretend to throttle me. <laughs> yes, yes, like you did on that, on that poster you did. Yeah, okay, all well, that would be my pleasure. <laughs> oh. uh, like that, huh? Yeah? Oh. Like that. Maybe something oh. like this? Or like oh. that, huh? You like that? That's enough, huh? now, dear. You like that? Oh! 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 Hey! Oh. 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 Thank you. Mm, wow, that's quite a woman oh. there, huh? Oh. We are not worthy. We're, We're not, not worthy. worthy. We're, We're not, not worthy. worthy. I'm, uh, I'm not Jock, uh, what's his name? Cranley. Big star in the 80s. We well, love celebs. Oh. That's why we came to Tinseltown. Yes. Yeah. Before we met you, we were trying to break in to Bruce Spade's house and steal his rubbish. The things these stars throw away. Oh. They're not like you or me. M M Mrs. Thornhill has the most unbelievable collection of celebrity underwear and bathroom products. Things they've actually used themselves. You guys have a great vacation, all right? I gotta go. We could do with some help. All this climbing over walls and rooting through bins, it's such a business. Nigel's got an arthritic knee. Yeah. What do you, uh, what do you need? Just a few Vinewood souvenirs for my mm -hmm. museum. No, no, look, look, look at this map. I mean, a lot of these places have famous people living in them and some that are just hanging about. Bring us some things. I'd be very thankful indeed. Americans are the most wonderful people in the world, aren't they? The best! <laughs> Such fun! <laughs> <laughs> oh, a pair of fruitcakes. Oh, hey, like a farm animal, 
or you can be at the top of the food chain and chase down fools yourself and we did that a study about annoying. 85% of people that ride bicycles are awful people, garbage people. They think they own the road. Think about that for a minute. If they get in power, they may pass the legislation, so they do own the road. They shave. You're gonna meet a bitch, that's where you're gonna meet one, you know what I'm saying? Hey, hey. Give me a sip of that. What? Come on! My throat's dry as a motherfucker. Why? Is your mother dry when you're... <laughs> what the fuck is that, huh? Nothing. Well, it didn't sound like nothing, all right? It didn't seem like nothing. I don't think that it was nothing! No, I didn't mean nothing by it, old man. Old man? Old man! Fuck you, you creepy old motherfucker! That's right. I said it. Creepy. Old! Motherfucker! No! Jesus! Huh? No, come on. Get what? Up. What? What? Sorry. Now, where sorry. were come we on. exactly, Get up, huh? Get up. Ah. I'm sorry, man. We're Help. sorry. Help! There's a guy with a gun! What's up, man? How you doing? Yeah, Oscar, what's up? No, I'm keeping it tranquilo, bro. You know. I mean, demand is crazy down south, man. Crazy. Yeah, well, you know, the feds, they're not supplying the arms to the Mexican criminals, so someone's got to step it. Oh, yeah. They need guns, bro. So many guns. But luckily for us, they're easily acquired up here. Yeah, well, that's our freedom's gift to the world, right? You American? Man, I didn't even know. 
Anyway, shit, that's gonna be profitable for the both of us. But completion is tough, bro. To control the market down there, uh, we gotta control supply up here. We got a couple local contracts to help us out stateside. So this plane is loaded with their shipments. You make a couple drops, you come back here. Uh, you know, they say that the American industry is suffering, but uh, you and I, <laughs> we got a good export story. Ah, okay. Ah, I'll be on the radio, man. That's great. Oscar! Tango, Foxtrot, Whiskey! Oscar! Hey, Golden, you're on the edge. I like that, I think. Okay, that plane is this custom fitted for package drops. State of the art radar, secure radio. It's tricked out, man. Really? Because it looks like it was made by a child for a school project. You're just a typical classic light aircraft enthusiast enjoying his midlife crisis. No profile. My middle name. Okay, radar's working. You're up on the screen here. We got two deliveries. I put in the coordinates. You make the drop. You get out of there. Easy. Roger. Oscar. Trevor. Received. Money in the bank, man. Another package received. Muy bien. That's all the drops done. Come on home now. All good, Trevor? Oscar, que onde, compadre? Hey, I didn't know you spoke a real language. Damuna, mamada. Kirama, mamacita. <laughs> Shit, man. Do you even know what you're saying? I learned everything I know from some lovely ladies just south of the border. Ah, okay. How long you been up here anyway? You seem to know your way around. Maybe five years on and off. I pretty much stay north now. Too much competition. I have to stay visible. And you? I mean, even I know that ain't a San Andrean accent. Sandy Shores, few years. Self-destructive right-wing misfits, meth, guns, incest. Closest I could find to the Midwest.
So, I'm sitting in a go-kart with nowhere to go. That's an all-terrain vehicle fitted with GPS tracking system, CB radio. That'd be the radio we're talking on, then. We use this to pick up the shipments. There's a plane making a drop soon near a mobile home off East Joshua Road. Make it fast. Those rednecks have been sniffing around. I think you'll find rural American is the politically correct term. And I think the cops got eyes on us, so try to avoid the main roads. Is there anyone who doesn't know about this? I just hope that broke your goddamn neck! I'm lost. Can you give me a ride home, please? Sure thing. I love hitchhikers. I live out at Catfish View, Mount Gordo, by the lighthouse. It's very isolated. Am I glad you came along? I was out hiking and got lost. I've been trying to flag down a car for over an hour. Why didn't you just call someone to come pick you up? I couldn't get a signal on my cell. And I don't really have anyone to call. Not since Mama passed. She was very hard on me. How I loved her. I have her hair in my backpack. Okay. What? The days get long out at that house all alone. I don't get many visitors anymore. The gardener used to come on Fridays till he got real sick and fell off that cliff. So, well, you know how they like to talk. But now, it's just me. Living on soup. Soup I make from old soup. Soup after soup after soup. I have to get out of there sometimes and clear my head. Those damn birds always singing no matter how many times I poison them. Bird soup. Soup with bird. Birds with soup. Every night I think I found peace, but then morning comes and with it another fresh hell. I come up here to escape them and they're still singing, taunting me. No. The house hasn't been the same since Mama passed. Most days, I just work on my projects Lucky so miss. I can be rich and have all the gentleman callers I want, like a real lady sipping on tea on a porch. You know, I love working with rubber, burning it, tasting it. You've got shoes, you've got feet, am I right? Hello? Clothy cloth ears, are you listening? You've got shoes, you've got feet, am I right? Uh, I'm not gonna say you're wrong. But what about shoes that look like feet? Uh, you mean toe shoes? Yes, shoes that look like feet. That's what I just said. Shoes that look like feet. Shoes that look like feet. Feet that have shoes on them that are feet. Because, you know, you can buy those already. No, you can't, Mr. Silly Pants. How can you buy them already if I haven't made them already? Dummy, dummy, dum-dums. I like you. You're silly. The gardener was silly. 
He got sick. Folk talk. You sure you're okay? Are you okay? Because this guy who picked me up the other week wasn't okay. He choked to death on his own hand. Yeah, okay, it's official. You're crazy. Crazy Maisie sitting on a daisy. Well, what are you gonna do? Spank me? Shave me? Lock me in the cellar with a spider called Molly Foster? Dress me up as a boy and make me drink through a little... Pink straw? Because you can. Mama oftentimes would. Don't pick your scars. Stop eating soil. Where's your pony, little girl? I'm Johnny now. The pony's dead. I hate you. I love you. Will you be my daddy? And this is why you don't pick up hitchhikers. Okay, I'm fine. Focus on the sunshine. Go to the garden. Pick them pretty flowers. <sighs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean nothing. I get so anxious ever since Mama took Blanky away and burned him. You seem like such a nice man. Have you ever drunk a mint julep? Why do I always go and ruin everything? Just like I did with that litter of puppies. I'll just be quiet. Yeah, maybe that's a good idea. This is it, thank you. Here's my number, will you call me sometime? I get so lonely out here all by myself. I love you. Undoubtedly necessary, as is often the case with your mate. My daddy once got so mad at me for back talking that he pushed my head down on a table saw, scared the crap out of me.